Google Cardboard is a mobile VR platform developed by Google that consists of a head-mounted display and a smartphone. This platform was launched in 2014 and it is the low-cost alternative for people who want to try virtual reality. What's unique about Cardboard is that the specifications for the headset are public and anyone from companies to individuals can build their own. In fact, Google only started selling their own headsets in 2016. And you can find Cardboard viewers on, on eBay starting at $5. The headset itself is extremely simple. It's made of cardboard or plastic. It has a 45 millimeter focal lenses and a magnet so that you can activate input on your screen, usually with like a trigger button. And sometimes they have uh, straps or Velcro to adjust it to your head, but not always. Um, as VR game developers, we need to understand how this platform works and how it differs from some of the other mobile VR platforms and desktop platforms as well. Um, when it comes to Google Cardboard, the the best way to look at it, or the, an easy way to look at it, is to think of binoculars. That is mainly the role it has. It's mainly like an optic role, so because you put your phone there and the lenses uh, will do the job to present the uh, both uh, Im the image for each eye to you, uh, so that it uh, it gives you that sense of 3D. But there is no hardware level integration. And uh, so as I said, it's mainly optical, plus obviously that magnet that can trigger an input event on the screen. In virtual reality experiences, the sensor that is in charge of measuring your where you're looking at in the game, basically the angle of your of your headset of your head and the, its acceleration is called an IMU, which is uh, an inertia measurement unit. And when it comes to the Google Cardboard, you are relying entirely on your phone's IMU. So if you have a phone that is VR ready, that has uh, a very low latency IMU, this means that uh, the time from when the measurement is taken to when this measurement is delivered to the software is very little. So the measurement occurs in a very short period of time. Um, then you're going to have a great experience with Cardboard. But uh, what is more, uh, the most common case is that phones are not going to provide, uh, don't necessarily come with a good IMU. And so the cardboard experience in many phones can be actually uh, quite laggy, can have a bit of a lag when you move your head around. There might be a, a little bit of a delay or the movement might not be, might not feel very smooth. So this is something very important to keep in mind. Um, also, phones themselves don't really know about the cardboard. When you put a cardboard headset on, the phone doesn't know that you are on Google Cardboard there. And, and also phones don't come with uh, deep kernel level integrations uh, for, this, for this platform. And uh, one of these optimizations that is present in the Gear VR and in, on Google Daydream is reprojection, which is that um, when you have um, your frames per second of your game, when that uh, drops a little bit, in these other platforms, the the previous frame that was shown will be reprojected again, so that the frame rate doesn't drop, uh, and the person and people uh, usually never notice that. So the experience will feel a lot more smooth. Whereas with Google Cardboard, um, that feature is not present, so um, the games might feel a little bit jagged as well, um, especially if there is a lot of processing taking place. And something else that's important to mention is that in, uh, in Google Cardboard, but this is also in other VR, mobile VR headsets, um, there is no head position tracking. So all that's being tracked is your head rotation, that is where you're looking at. Uh, but if the, the easiest way to see it is that if you jump on, the v on VR, or if you jump in reality, you're not going to jump on the VR game, which is something that would happen if, you, uh, if, if you're using a headset that has head position tracking. Now. Because of all of these things, I don't want to give the impression that, I'm, that I don't like Cardboard, that I'm against it in any way. I think Cardboard has played a very important role in bringing VR to a lot of people. It's, it's broadly used in schools, in developing countries. And uh, my main point here is that as VR game developers, um, we want to know where the limitations are or of each platform and also manage expectations as just so that you know what to expect because a great VR experiences can be built for cardboard but you need to be aware of some of its limitations and something that I'm really hoping for is that 
as new phones become more and more VR ready, I hope that their their uh, IMUs also become low latency and that, that, that they are prepared for the cardboard experience more than they are now. When it comes to developing for cardboard, uh, what, what just beca- seemed to be a, a weakness, which was that there's no hardware integration, uh, it is a strength when it comes to multi-platform support, because even though this is created by Google, um, Cardboard works both on Android and iOS, because as long as an app follows the specifications when it comes to the showing both uh, the camera for both eyes and whatnot, um, it can be uh, it can be used on Cardboard, because it is mainly an open specification. And in Unity since version 5.6, there is native support for Google Cardboard, both for Android and iOS. So you don't have to install any SDK in order to develop apps for for Cardboard. Now, back in Unity and back in our game, we are going to build our game for Google Cardboard for Android. Um, So I have my game here and what I'm going to do also, I have my phone connected and I'm able to see my phone when I go to a terminal, I type ATV devices, I can see my phone attached in there. Um, So what I'm going to do now is go to file and build settings. And in here, I make sure that my scene is there, but although uh, there's only one scene in this game, so even if it's not there, it will be built as uh, by default. Um, So pick the Android target here and click on switch platform because it's going to be in there by default. And then we're going to go to player settings in this in this button here. And this will contain all of the settings for your player, uh, the player, uh, and by the player, I mean the uh, uh, what is going to run the app on your phone. Um, so you can set a few fields there, like company name, uh, name for the project, things like the icon. Uh, but what we are interested in is we're going to um, slow um, scroll down and go to other settings. And inside of other settings, we're going to pick virtual reality support. So we're going to make sure that that is selected. And in here is where you can add the uh, virtual reality platform that you're going to target. So let me remove this and show you how you can add it. So it's, if it's uh, like this, list is, list is empty. You can go here and, and click on plus, And you're going to see all the platforms that are supported by default by Unity. So I'm going to pick Cardboard. Uh, so I pick Cardboard and then you need to scroll down a bit. And in identification, you have to write uh, what's called a package name. And this is what's called a reverse URL. Um, it's just a unique identifier, which is usually something like your website, but written in the opposite way. In this case, com.zemba. If you don't have a website, you can just make one up here. This doesn't really matter. It's just a convention. And then you type like dot and the name of the of the project, something without spaces. So in this case, it can be VR uh, flying, something like that. And um, in here, in minimum API target, I am selecting the phone. I'm, in this case, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, which has Android Marshmallow. That is the phone that I'm going to be targeting here. So after I selected those options, um, if I go back here, I have the option of to, to just build the, the game or to build and also run the game. So what I'm going to do um, is build and run, because then we'll get prompt to uh, save our build somewhere. And then it's actually going to run on the phone that is connected. So I'm going to click on build and run. And the first thing that will happen is that you have to select a destination for your APK APK file. The APK file is the file uh, that will uh, run on your Android. This is usually the file format for Android apps. Um, Inside of my Unity project, I'm going to create a new folder, which I'm going to call builds. You can call it however you want. Uh, Builds, I think, is a good name just because it really explains what it is. So we're going to save all of our builds here. And then you can uh, give this file any name you want. It's not going to make any difference if you're going to be building, uh, making different builds for different uh, for different platforms and whatnot. You can you can use a naming convention like uh, you know cardboard build. I'll leave that up to you. So I'm just going to call my game, and I'm going to click on save. And now um, we are going to have uh, this process, which could take a few minutes, especially if it's the the first time that you're running this. Um, in th- that usually takes longer. And again, in, in case I didn't mention it, I have my device connected via USB uh, because I, like I show you here, I can see it. So my phone is ready for development. And what this will do, it will uh, build that package and then it will install it on my phone and run the application on my phone. So the process completed, it took a couple of minutes. 
and now I can see my, my app from my phone. So I'm gonna show you that now from the phone itself. Okay, so we are now on our phone on Google Cardboard and we are in this VR experience. So you can look around and you can see that um, that we are in this experience now and I'm gonna start moving so the, the input works fine. Um, and I can look around and that's it, that's it. So um, now what I would like you to do is to make maybe some changes to the game, like a couple of changes, and then to run it yourself so that you can you can test it. And there are optimizations that we can do, so that is covered at the end of the course. We'll do a little bit of optimization here, um, but um, optimizations will definitely improve this a little bit. Um, I do feel like it's pretty, I, I do feel that it's laggy. I don't know if that is captured in the video and a little bit jacked, but uh, part of that has to do with with my phone in particular, that my phone doesn't provide an amazing cardboard experience. So that, again, we are relying on the phone for the, the rendering of this game and the phone capabilities. But on and all, is it is a VR experience and I'm happy to be in this virtual world. So, all right, so let's continue.